I would start the episode, but there's ice everywhere. Ooh. Ooh. When it comes to weather related accidents, icing can be one of the most dangerous situations to find yourself in. That's why it's important to know the answer to today's question. How does ice affect your aircraft? Generally, there are three types of ice that can accumulate on your aircraft, rime, clear, and mixed. Rime ice forms when supercooled water droplets freeze upon contact with your aircraft. Rime ice will form brittle and rough, giving it an opaque appearance. It can typically be found in stratus clouds with an outside ambient temperature between negative 15 and negative 20 degrees Celsius. Clear ice accumulates a bit slower than rime ice, but can be significantly heavier. Clear ice has a smooth and often transparent appearance. It's usually found in cumulus clouds with an outside ambient temperature of 2 to negative 10 degrees Celsius. Mixed ice is a combination of the two, typically occurring in temperatures between negative 10 to negative 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, eh, that's cool and all, but how bad can ice be for my aircraft? The answer is bad. Like, really bad. There's a variety of negative impacts that icing can have on your flight, including changes in aerodynamics, changes in weight or center of gravity, loss of visibility, increased stall speed, increased drag, unresponsive flight controls, and obstructed airflow to engine intakes. All of these can make takeoff, flying, and landing extremely dangerous. So what can you do to keep yourself from encountering an icy emergency? Number one, don't fly. According to the FAA, pilots are not allowed to fly into known icing conditions without proper equipment, such as TKS or boots. Number two, check weather forecast before takeoff. Realistically, this is something that should be done before every flight. It's especially important to do in adverse weather conditions. In certain situations, changes to your flight path could mitigate any potential hazards. Number three, have a plan, a backup plan, and a backup plan for your backup plan. The AOPA's Air Safety Institute recommends having three plans, which may include a diversion and not continuing to your destination. Your goal is to avoid icing conditions whenever possible. Number four, Know what your aircraft is capable of. If you haven't already, review your aircraft's manual to learn what capabilities or limitations it might have. Even aircraft with de-icing and anti-icing equipment are susceptible to hazardous conditions in icy weather. Number five, inspect your aircraft before takeoff. Again, this is something that should be done before every flight, regardless of weather conditions. An aircraft can accumulate ice while parked if the conditions are right, and at that point, it may just be safer to wait until the weather is passed. According to the Air Safety Institute, nearly a quarter of all accidents due to airframe icing are caused by ice or frost that accumulated on the ground and wasn't removed before takeoff. Okay, so say you're already in the air and, unknowingly, encounter icy conditions. What do you do? First, turn on de-icing or anti-icing. This is your first line of defense against accumulating ice. If your aircraft is capable, this will help melt ice on crucial parts such as the airfoils or your pitot tube. As a rule of thumb, turn on anti-icing whenever you're about to pass through a cloud. Second, get out of there. Simply put, the longer you stay in icy conditions, the more dangerous it'll become. While not usually recommended, climbing out of an icy cloud could be an option, but only if you're certain that you're already near the top and have a plan to get back down. Third, alert an air route traffic control center of the weather conditions. While this might not help you personally, it'll give other pilots a notice that could end up saving a life. When in flight, the Air Safety Institute recommends this three-part plan, anticipate, recognize, and act. Anticipating means to know the conditions you're flying into at any given moment. Recognize when icing occurs and act accordingly after evaluating the situation. Do you have a question for flying? Tweet us at Flying Magazine on Twitter using the hashtag FlyingExplained or email us at explained at flying.media.